So you have spent weeks or even maybe months making your Discord bot and trying to put it online, but and you just wait so your bot gets popular and you have an amazing community. But nothing happens. The bot reaches to no one. It's still in the same four servers which you ask your friends to add. Well, if that's the case, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to help you grow your Discord bot. See, I'm not going to tell you how to exponentially grow your Discord bot to 100,000 servers, but I'm going to help you give that initial reach, initial 100 servers that can give you the momentum to grow your bot. And I'm going to tell you 5 important concepts which are going to help you to grow your bot. And make sure you watch this video till the end, as in the end, I'm going to talk about bot verification. If you don't follow a few things, you ma your bot might get uh, rejected for verification. It means your bot will never be verified. So make sure you watch this video till the end. First one, make useful bots, not good looking bots. Make a bot which actually someone wants. I mean, this sounds really easy and obvious, said, than done. So think of whether you would actually ever use your own bot and if there is even use with your bot so you cannot make just another music bot or moderation bot which no one would ever want there are tens and thousands of your popular music bots and moderation bots out there so make sure your bot is unique and someone would actually need it this is the most important thing and no bot can actually replace your functionality so make a bot which actually someone would need and there is no other bot which can fulfill that functionality searchability and site list this is like the only marketing you do to give reach to your bot and this is the only most important thing to do to grow your discord bot making your bot searchable or findable if your bot is not findable or searchable no one is going to know and find your bot and no one is going to add it into their server by the word searchable i mean to say it should appear on search search results on a search engine or a site list but that doesn't mean you're going to name your bot something like pro gamer bot and search for pro gamer bot and it appears on the search results no that's totally not what i meant no one on earth is going to search for pro gamer bot so I mean to say name your bot in such a way that people actually are going to find your bot by searching for its functionality. For example, there's a discord bot which shows information of a user. If you name this bot something like neutron bot, when people google for user information bot, they're not going to find it. But instead of naming it as neutron bot and if you named it as let's say user information bot, the bot would appear on search results and people would add the bot actually and it would get popular and that's what exactly happened with my bot user information bot which is in over 500 servers so make sure you your bot and the tagline are search friendly and you can achieve this by adding it in many site lists but i don't recommend adding it in many site lists before the bot verification or you'll be in trouble and your bot will be denied for verification so i recommend adding it only in popular sites as site lists like top.gg the bot should be online your bot should be online at least 90 percent of the time in a month there are many videos explaining how to put your bot online on youtube you can find them and see if your bot is offline when someone adds it they're simply going to kick it out so make sure your bot is online the multi-purpose bot help god damn these multi-purpose bots whenever i ask a small bot developer for what their bot is going to do they're going to be like dude it's a multi-purpose bot see the problem with these bots is that no one is going to look for multi-purpose bots and even if they're going to look for multi-purpose bots they have popular bots like me six callbot and arkin and etc so the second factor searchability is violated over here no one would actually need it and there are other popular bots for moderation and multi-purpose so i recommend to make a bot which is dedicated to a certain task or functionality and no other bot is having that functionality and the bot is useful so make sure you don't make just another multi-purpose bot and make a bot which is dedicated to a task forming a feedback cycle by a feedback cycle i mean to say knowing what your existing users want and what you should actually focus on like knowing which commands are most used where your bot throws errors and etc if you know that no one uses a certain functionality of your bot then you can work less on that feature and fix existing bugs or with that with that feature so when you know which commands are most used you can work on those features and you can focus on which commands are actually being used the most of the time so what i'm saying is you can log which all commands are being used into a console or to your server which your user is using what commands and figure out which commands your users are using and improve them and this is really helpful to know why your bot is being kicked out of a server for example someone used a help command and they kicked the bot out of their server the next moment this means that there's some problem with your help command and you need to focus on that 
and make sure to add join support server buttons to any error message or literally every, every command. In this way, you'll get notified of any downtime in the bot or any issues with the bot by the users using the bot itself. And and as I said, I'll talk about the bot verification thing now. So make sure your bot is not added in bot forums, which means most of the users in the server are bots. If you don't do this, Discord will reject your reject verifying your bot. And make sure you don't add your bot in many site lists before verification, as Discord will think you are growing your bot inorganically and it will reject verifying your bot. And that's it. I recommend you to watch this entire video again and make a to-do list of what all things you have to do to your bot and i wish you good luck with your discord bot and thanks for watching